Right, today we're going to be extending what we did in our exploration with unifix cubes to go ahead and find volume and surface area of rectangular prisms just from pictures or other things. So a few things that are important to know is that the volume is the space inside the figure. And it's always measured in cubic units. So you're looking for how many cubes can fit in, and a lot of times we write that like u cubed or whatever the label is, like inches cubed, whatever it is. The volume of every single rectangle, or any prism in general, can be found by finding the number of cubes in one layer. So for instance, you could look at this one on the right and say, well, in the top layer, I can kind of see that there are eight cubes. And then you just need to multiply it by the number of layers, how many there are. So in this case, there are three layers, and we could do eight times three to give us a volume of 24 and I would label that cubic units. A rectangular prism, that's a special type of prism where, like we see here, it has a special volume formula, and its formula is volume equals length times width times height. So in this case, we'd have dimensions of four, two, and three. We could do four times two times three, and we'd get a volume of 24 cubic units, the same as I got before because that first formula works for every single prism, which will come in very handy when we uh, tackle other types of prisms. Second thing we're going to deal with is surface area today. And surface area is the total area on the outside of a figure. Think of it like you're wrapping a present, what would go around the outside. This is measured in square units, so units squared. We want to just count kind of like how many squares are there on the edge of a figure, okay? Just looking on the outside. The surface area, again, of any prism can be found by finding the area of each face and then adding those areas up together. The rectangular prism surface area formula is surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. I almost never use that formula because I find it very cumbersome, so I like to think of just about what's happening and find the area of each face. So we're going to go ahead and solve... Um, Use, find the surface area of that cube, not a cube, that rectangular prism. Just kind of looking here. So I kind of like to organize in a chart format, but you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. But I want you to think about what's happening. Our goal is to label each face, and then we're going to find the dimension of each face and use those dimensions to find the surface area. So for example, just from my perspective when I look right here, this face, to me, that looks like the top. So I probably call it the top face. And the dimensions of it, so I'm looking for a length and width of that face, it's a 4 by 2. This 3D view of this so that you could see if I say the top face here and I kind of rotate it around, I want you to notice that the bottom looks exactly the same. Okay, and when I get into other faces, you'll notice like this green face, if you rotate around, the back looks exactly the same. And then this pink side, if I rotate around, it also has a matching face. All right, so I typically use that knowledge to say when I found the top, I don't have to do double the work. I'm just going to write that the bottom looks exactly the same, and the bottom face is also a 4 by 2. Okay, and then if I look at another face, to me that looks like the front. I would probably call it the front. And again, I'm checking its dimensions, and it looks like a 3 by 2 or a 2 by 3. And again, if I have the front face, it has a matching pair on the back. So that's also a 3 by 2 face. And then we're going to look at just the sides that we're missing here, which are the pink faces. This one has, uh, I'll call it the left side. And then again, the right side matches that. So the left and right. They look exactly the same, and they that's a 4 by 3, so each one here is a 4 by 3. And now if I'm going to go ahead and use this to find the surface area, what I will want to do is take the area of each face, so just, you know how to find the area of a rectangle, length times width, so 4 times 2 is 8, another 8, a 6, a 6, a 12, and a 12, and then you would just add up all of these 8, 8, 6, 6, 12, and 12. And once you've added 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 12, you should get that the total surface area is 52. And remember, you're going to label it in square units. OK, 
Okay, let's look at one last example problem. So this time I don't get, give you the cubes, just the dimensions. And I want you to find the volume and the surface area of the rectangular prism and label your answers. I would love you to try this on your own and then pause the video and then come back and check if, the, if you're right. All right. I'm going to do the volume first just because I think it's easier. Since this is a rectangular prism, I can use that simple formula, length times width times height. So I'm going to do 4 times 2 times 5, and I should get a volume of 40, and this time it tells you it's centimeters, so you're going to call it cubic centimeters. When I do the surface area, you could have used the official formula, or you can logic it out. I kind of like to think, all right, this top face here, it looks like it's a 4 by 2. So I'm going to have a 4 by 2, and I'm going to end up having two of those. So I'm going to deal with that in a moment. The front here, it's a 5 by 2. So I'll have a 5 by 2, and again, I'm going to end up having two of those. And then on the left side here, that's a 4 by 5. And again, I'll end up having two of those. So 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 here. 5 times 2 is 10 times 2 is 20. 4 times 5 is 20 times 2 is 40. When I add these all up, I'm going to get 76. And I'll label that square centimeters. All right, I might give you some extensions, but remember that volume is what's inside and surface area is on the outside.